We have our first couple here today. By the end of the day today, we will have eight people on site. Hannah Gailey says her organization, Retread, is in full swing, now open and taking in residents from both Vista and Encinitas at the new Buena Creek Navigation Center. KPBS got a tour of the facility on its opening day. At the Buena Creek Navigation Center, we are connecting people with social services and we, our ultimate goal is to find people permanent housing or transitional housing. Retread is the organization that will operate the 48-bed shelter, which is located just outside of Vista on county land. Vista Mayor John Franklin says the center is a bit of an experiment. That it does look and feel like a home. It's very different in that regard. Uh, one of the things I'm excited is to be able to show the people that we're reaching out to who are living on the street what a wonderful place that we're offering here, that it's different than other places that they may have been in the past. Three quarters of the beds will be for Vista residents and the other quarter are for those from Encinitas. It's purposely a low barrier non-congregate shelter, says Vista Deputy Mayor Katie Melendez. That means people don't have to be sober outside of the facility. Providing shelter and housing does accomplish the aim at having safety in our community. When people enter this Buena Vista Creek Navigation Center, they will be in a dignified environment with all the privacy, resources, and support that they need in order to fully rehabilitate. The facility is for adults of both genders who are referred by homeless outreach teams for each city. Gailey says the Buena Creek Navigation Center is modeled after the Oceanside Navigation Center and it should be completely full in the next couple weeks. A success would be getting someone to agree to a long-term drug and alcohol recovery program. A success would be if someone got their EBT and their benefits and a job and was able to find a room to rent. Clients can stay as long as 120 days, but many are expected to exit the center earlier. VISTA's portion of operating expenses at the center come from $5 million in state funding obtained by Senator Catherine Blakespear. Jacob Ayer, KPBS News.